Okay, here's the old fuel pump that I took out. And I don't know if we can get that to focus in. But you can see where all that has kind of melted there. Um, and like I said, I think I've read that this is a pretty common problem with these. Um, and I don't know why Ford hasn't done a recall on it. But uh, that's more than likely what's going on. It's just melting those connectors down and uh, causing them to fail. Um, and now here is the Spectre... Spectrum? Spectrum? Uh, oh, what do they call it? The Premium Spectra Premium SP2131. That's the one they told me to order. And uh, comes with a O-ring. And it's a different design, obviously. Um, got a different connector type thing there. Uh, but uh, supposed to just drop right in and be the same as that one so um, got it gonna start working on installing it and uh, I'll make a video you know continue this video on after that okay so we'll crawl under the vehicle here in just a second I want to point something out it was a pretty bear getting that back in there because if you watch this is spring loaded so you have to get it pushed down and then get that retainer on there and turn it. Um, it was pretty difficult, but uh, I got it started and was able to tap it around. Uh, another bad thing is being left-handed um, kind of hinders things. It was easier to take off because you're tapping away from it. But let's crawl under here. And as you can see, um, all the connections are back on. Uh, they just snapped in and then so you just push those locks in um, got them there everything's down so um, now you can kind of see how the electrical that uh, see if I can zoom in on that has that center piece that you gotta kind of push over and then you slide that out uh, for that electrical connection um, that I showed in video 2 um, got all my connections